Hey everybody, Patty Ann here. I'm going to try to answer a question for Jeanette today. She says that she's having a hard time seeing things in her library, and I'll show you that in a second, and in Brilliance. So I'm not only going to try to show her how to fix that maybe, but also if you do not have these envelopes, I highly recommend you grab these envelopes. They'll work in any kind of Brilliance platform that you have and they're tons of fun. Today, I'm just gonna show how to install it and get started, and then tomorrow, I'll be back to show you some really fun, fun things you can do with all these envelopes that are free. So the first thing you'll do is you'll go to the link I have down below to get you to this page right here. Scroll down until you see this bluish green thing that says Download Library File. Simply click on that to download it, and notice that since I'm using a Windows machine, mine has downloaded right here. I'm gonna double click on that to open it. I can't use this thing yet. I need to extract all first. So I'm gonna say extract all. I'm going to leave it the folder as it suggests, and I'm gonna ask it to show the extracted files when complete. So then I'll click on extract. Once they've been extracted, here's all I have to do. I'm going to get rid of this window that was behind here, maybe minimize these things until I can see my Embrilliance opened up with a new project basically opened up. All I need to do now is see this file right here. Let's see for type, can I make this bigger? Here we go. It's an embroidery installer file. So that's what I want. This right here is how to use these kinds of files. It's a Acrobat file that you can read, but the installer files is what you want. You can simply drag this top thing. Notice when I'm dragging it, see the plus sign? That means that my computer is dragging that over there. It's adding it to my Embrilliance platform. I'm gonna let go and notice what it says now. I can get rid of this. And now it says envelopes one dot bx has been installed in Embrilliance envelopes. So I'll say, okay. So what's that mean? Well, if I go up here to the gear, that's the merge designs gear and click on it, we'll be able to see the library. Now something goofy is gonna show up in mine that won't show up on yours because I have a, another um, plat or a piece of software in Merrily and it's asking me to do something with that. So I'm just gonna cancel that. But this is what you'll get. When you go to the catalog here in your library, one of the drop downs will be envelopes. Click on that and you'll see all of these envelopes that you can use. And you may be wondering, well, what in the world is an envelope? Well, let me just sh very quickly show you right now. And then tomorrow we'll get more in depth than these things. So if I double click on this, I open, it opens right here, right? And I can tell you right now that the envelope part of that, this design, is this really thin little black line right here. And so I can tell that because if I click on this, okay, check it out, it highlights that. I can even change its color so you could see it better. I can make it, the, what should I make it? Maybe red? I'll make it this pinky color. Okay, and then I'll scroll in so you can see it a little bit better. Let's see. There we go. So you can see now that I've made the envelope, envelope two, purpley. All right, so let's just look at the stitch simulator for a second, see what this thing's gonna do. So what it's going to do is it's not gonna stitch the envelope two at all. It's gonna stitch the satin borders. So watch. See, there's the satin borders. It's just really nicely stitching around that. So where do the envelopes will come in? Well, let me click on the stitch simulator to get rid of it. And I'm going to put some text in here. I'll put my name. I'm gonna come up here to create letters. Instead of using, whoopsie, let's undo that. Instead of it being ABC, I'm going to make it say Patty Ann, all in capital letters, and hit enter on my keyboard. So notice what that did. It did uh, put in Patty Ann. It's not gonna fit in the envelope, 
And remember, I kind of like to think of the envelopes as like an envelope into which you're going to put stuff. So I'm going to put Patty in in there. And I could put it in there like that, right? I really, really could. But the envelopes are almost like magic to me. So again, let's look over here in the objects panel. We have the envelope two, we have the satin border stitches, and then we have letters. Here's what you need to do to get the magic to work in the envelopes. Click on the letter sign, double click on it, so that you get the cursor there, and you can put something at the end after the word letters. And the what you're gonna put at the end is whatever the envelope is labeled. So since it's envelope two, you're gonna put a two at the end. It's gonna say letters two, okay? And hit enter. Doesn't look like anything happened, right? But watch, when I click over here, look what happens. So let's undo that once. Let's pretend, hey, let's see if we can name this envelopes five. And now let's go down here to letters to rename that and we'll name it letters two like it was before. And we'll see if that will still work. I'm gonna hit enter and then I'm gonna click off and really nothing happened. However, if I change this and now since the envelope is number five, I'll go back a space and make this a five and hit enter. Oh, it put it right into the envelope but not the way we want it to be. So don't get in a panic when you see this. All you have to do is come over here and click and the magic will happen. So, okay, I hope you like this. It's a lot of fun using envelopes. Why don't you follow what I've shown you to do today? Make sure that you have envelopes installed in whatever platform of br and brilliance you have and be ready to work along with me maybe tomorrow while I do some more fun things with the envelopes. So thanks so much for joining me. Remember, I'll have the link down below for you for the page you need to go to to download the free envelopes. And also, if you're wanting to buy anything else from Embrilliance, please use my link because it gives me a teeny tiny commission and it helps Patty Ann's place keep going. So thanks again, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye for now.